Jerry Simon here of designcourse.com and today is the review of design challenge number 16 which is a, another letter mark challenge for a fictional gaming company called Kill X. All right, so I, if you submitted a design, I'm going to go ahead and review them very quickly. So the first one we have from Andrew, I the there's a big the big problem with this is it's just a K and it's just an X and there's really nothing unique going on in terms of combining them to a single letter mark or a symbol that relates to the idea of the game. So all we have here is just a scaled down K and there's opacity on it. So the big issue here right off the the bat is just the fact that there's nothing unique happening. So I would focus on just trying to come up with a symbol that really makes sense and also not, you know, taking this the opacity down just to create an effect, you know, just for the sake of doing so. All right. So just, you know, if you're Andrew and you're watching this, just uh, keep on watching my reviews here to get more of an idea of maybe what I'm talking about. Uh, so, all right, Chris, we have here uh, this one. That this technically is, yes, a letter mark uh, because they are joined together, the K and the X, uh, but they're still kind of, you know, it does work, but I would say that the execution of the crosshairs here is just uh, a little bit too dramatic. Uh, there's a little bit too much clutter going on here. Uh, there's some issues here that I could see, you know, for instance, it just throws it off because uh, it's not consistent, like these crosshair uh, little vertical lines, the thickness of these, and then you compare them to the thickness of these, uh, it just cre creates an issue of consistency, inconsistency. So I would try to uh, simplify this in the middle and you might have a better result in the end. So I like the idea of using a negative space here to create this. So this actually has potential. All right, so uh, and these, another one, definitely from Chris, uh, this one definitely is inferior to this one. Uh, just because definitely get rid of the head, just because if you were to scale this down to a size it might appear on a website or something, um, you would not be able to see. Plus the execution of the head as well, I think would definitely needs work. Uh, if you were to do anything, it would just be a silhouette of like a black you know, outline of a head or something like that. Uh, and then the K and the X, it's almost dis indiscernible. If you didn't know if there was a K and an X, you wouldn't be, really be able to read it. So uh, this one is definitely better execution. All right, so Mitch and Stein. Uh, all right, so the idea is to illustrate a concept of having a bullet uh, going through the K and the X. All right, so it's not obvious that this right here is a bullet. To me, just because I have a gutter mind, it almost kind of looks like a penis. Uh, but uh, if you were to try to really make this look like a bullet, there's a couple things you could do. Um, the one right off my head is just to uh, uh, create kind of like thin vertical lines coming off the tail. That way it illustrates that you know it's in motion or something like that. Uh, so it, the idea in and of itself, uh, it, 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 there's definitely uh, potential there. I, I think it just needs to be work, reworked a little bit. All right, uh, Liam. All right, so this... There's an issue here just because I – let me see about scaling this down a little bit. I, this background is completely unnecessary, this uh, this red kind of polygonal thing going on, and it makes it hard to see this, you know, the actual letter mark, uh, especially when the letter mark also has some opacity on it as well. So I would have just completely get rid of that, make it one solid color in the background, or make, make it – let me – at least a textured background of some sort that doesn't take away from this. Um, so focusing on the letter mark itself, I would say definitely get rid of these as well. They're probably tr supposed to be bullets, but it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, plus, uh, there's not a lot of white space uh, be in between this portion right here, so it, there's a little bit of clutter here. I would just get rid of these entirely just because the K and the X are – there's already a lot happening here. So you want to kind of simplify things, all right? Uh, Galaxy X85. Let me reset this. I uh, so yeah, the X here, the the bolt holes, cool idea. But the problem is, it kind of just looks like the K is slapped on there. I uh, I mean, I know it's aligned here, uh, like at a 45 degree angle, but it just still feels separate. If you know what I mean. I uh, although I understand, it's also kind of hard to combine a K and an X uh, and make it decent looking. So it was kind of challenging. But thanks for the submission. Uh, Euros. So this here, there's an issue just because uh, the K and X aren't combined, so it feels way too separate. And the idea I tried to emphasize is try to create a single symbol. Um, you know, this is a unique idea with the K, you know, being a gun and all. Uh, but but again, the X was not a part of this essentially. So uh, thanks for the entry, anyhow. So Gabby. Uh, 
this is a little bit difficult just because you know you have it behind the X and this part isn't connecting to this part of the K so it's a little bit hard to read there's a K so again if somebody didn't know if, you know these are supposed to represent a K and an X offhand it might be hard to, to discern that mainly because of this issue right here uh, but yeah I, I, there's potential there for sure um, moving down let's uh, all right so I, I like the cool kind of texturized background and I like the fact that uh, you have it also placed on the uh, the, the logo itself uh, the type is good and, and the idea overall is good, but it really breaks down just because it's so hard for me to, to see a K here. I know that this obviously has something to do with it, with the K, but it's real hard to tell. And again, like I said, this is challenging. I, I probably didn't really foreshadow uh, how difficult it might be to get a K and an X together. Uh, but I like this overall. I mean, the design and everything is, is good. I just think if someone were to look at this, they wouldn't be able to really see a K there, but I do like it. Um, so this is actually, you know, even though it's very simple, I, I think it's a really good attempt at trying to c combine a K and an X. See, because the, the X in and of itself is kind of the part that plays off on the game. You know, when you have like a game, like a first person shooter or whatever, or a shooter game of any sort, I, you know, you when you see X, you kind of think of a target of sorts. So this is actually pretty good. I would probably make some slight changes just so it's a little bit more unique uh, rather than just having the, the the negative space here to separate the X and the K. But uh, overall, I really like it. So good job. Uh, I'm coming down here from this individual. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Salsa. Okay. I when I looked at this, the immediate thing that just came to my mind was uh, like a swastika. I know this is an X. But the fact that it kind of changes form right here and it just goes, doesn't go straight through is what gives me that vibe. Obviously, that's probably not something that you, you want to emphasize is uh, Nazi stuff. But I, I mean, I like the idea of kind of how everything has a lot of 45 degree angles and it, it makes it feel gamerish. But I think maybe trying to get that straight X in there somehow, uh, and, and you, you'd probably be able to do it if you tried hard enough, um, would be more ideal. But I do, uh, I overall, I do like the simplicity uh, of it for sure. Cool stuff. All right, uh, coming down here, Jimmy. I uh, so this right here, it's still hard to see that there's a K, uh, just because the part of the K only only part of the K is just uh, like the left part is just red. But this part as well is 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 an X. So really predominantly, you just see the X with these brackets, and then just like a line in the background. So it's kind of hard. Maybe if you made it the same color, like just black, it would be a little bit more discernible. Uh, I think changing the colors kind of throws it off, in my opinion, just a bit. But otherwise, I like the simplicity of it. Okay, what is this? This is a different variation here. Uh, yeah, I mean. I still think you're running into somewhat of the same problem. Uh, this is a little bit easier to see, uh, but I still think keeping them the same color may have been the best bet. And this is, would be identical to the other guys and uh, up there. So you guys are thinking along the same lines, so that's not bad. Uh, DL2904. Um, kept it simple in both design and color. Got the crosshair over the X, X being a mark, would give it, okay. All right, so I would say this, I mean, it is simple. Uh, when you just think about you know all the lines and stuff, uh, and there's not much happening in terms of effects and visuals and stuff, but I think it actually is a little bit complex if you consider all of the dots and all the lines and all of the overlapping that's occurring between the white crosshairs and the X here and the K here. So in that regard, it's definitely pretty complex. Uh, so I think simplifying this, keeping this all black, getting rid of a lot of the little circles and just focusing on really simplifying this so that you don't have all the overlapping uh, would be a little bit better. And then it would be a little bit better, more of an effective letter mark in my opinion. All right, and then mass. Uh, so this one's a little bit hard for me to understand. I think this may be like a keyboard key of sorts. I'm not sure. 
Uh, so I really don't have too much to say beyond that, uh, just because I'm not sure exactly what is happening here. No description was provided. So sorry for that. Um, Tina or Tana. Uh, so again, this somebody else did this sort of uh, negative space with with the crosshairs. I uh, I probably would have went with a different font, but uh, I'm just pulling hairs here. I uh, in and of itself, it's not bad, and, and I do like the concept. Obviously, it's something that could be worked with and that people would universally recognize uh, simply because two, uh, another person took this route as well. So good entry. All right, so here is uh, another entry. I would say this is high. Uh, the problem here is there's no K, so or not no, no K that I can see at least. So that's an itch issue because when you try to get the KX in there, uh, otherwise, if it was just X, this would be a pretty cool concept. All right, in our sire, uh, let's see here. Looking at this, yeah, uh, this time there's no separation at all. It's just kind of the letters laid on top of each other. Uh, it's not bad, in my opinion. I, when we're looking at the type, the, like the name along with it, I think the proportions and the scale could have been adjusted, maybe this put on the top or something like that, kind of like you have over here. Um, but in and of itself, it, it, it's a pretty, it's a very simple approach, you know, getting the K and having the X in here. Uh, so yeah, I actually like that. Uh, and then servlet, oh boy, like, I didn't really see this one beforehand, so I'm trying to figure out. So I guess you could say this is definitely the K right here. And we have like a water droplet thing, and this kind of adds some clutter to it, because just because you're not sure, or I would assume that maybe this signifies blood. Um, so there's a lot happening here. You have the circle here, uh, maybe to emblemize it. I uh, have the K, and then you have the X, and with the tiny little lines in the middle. So it's a little bit complex going on. Um, I would probably have probably get rid of the the drop the the blood drop area right here, and try to simplify it a little bit more. And it does kind of feel almost like a like a boat uh, wheel or steering wheel or something. Anyhow, I like the idea. I think it could be worked with uh, and simplified. So, uh, good entry. Let's see here, Helvicius. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Uh, th this crosshair just looks way too. Uh, I'd, I'd say like 19. 95 ish graphic, I guess you could say, just because it's a, a very thin, almost like I, it was taken into paint and this was slapped on top of it, the crosshairs, uh, just because they're one pixel, you know, uh, and there's a bunch of them and it's overlaying on top of the X. So that's, there's a lot of clutter happening here. So I would focus on simplifying this concept uh, big time. And that is it. So thanks for watching. I. Coming up here, uh, what is it? Today's November 28th, so uh, 2015 is right around the corner, and I, I'm, I'm going to set a, a new goal for myself. So preview, you know, earlier in the year, or basically January 1st of this year, I set a goal to record a video every day uh, of 2014, and I think I got to like June, <laughs> uh, but that got way too difficult. Um, the, the, the quality was suffering a bit. And so I just I kind of stopped that. Uh, nonetheless, I, I did keep it up quite a bit, uh, pretty long. Uh, and I think for this year, I want to try to uh, focus on some uh, new goals and try to structure how I put, produce videos a little bit differently um, and actually have a schedule so that people know what's going to be coming up maybe once a week uh, and, and also focusing on some other things I'm, I'm – uh, trying to expand beyond just designcourse.com and into other learning sites such as Udemy, Skillshare. And I'll be doing prom uh, promotions and advertisements based on what I create there as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, as, as always, subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't yet. I look out for new uh, tutorials coming up pretty soon. I'm, I'm going to do another app tutorial, a full app tutorial. Uh, and also some digital painting tutorials. All right, so yeah, subscribe here. Check out thezoncars.com if you haven't yet, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.